Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I thought I'd show you how you can uh, move what drive Docker is on on your system. By default it installs to drive C and uh, as you put containers in Docker if you have a small drive C it might start to take up some space so you may want to put that data over onto another drive. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing we're going to do is um, Take a look at what's running under WLS. WLS is uh, Windows uh, subsystem for Linux, which um, is what uh, Docker uses to uh, um, run its containers and such. So we're going to run uh, WSL-L-V, which will give us uh, what subsystems we have. Uh, on uh, that are running on WSL and uh, it will tell us if they're running or not. If you just run WSL dash L, it will just give you the subsystems, but it will also tell you which one is default. And by default, Docker Desktop is the default system. This other subsystem, Docker Desktop Data, is where Docker Desktop holds the containers and the data. That's what you want to move. You want to leave the Docker Desktop. Uh, you could theoretically move it, but apparently there can be some problems with that if you do move it. So I would just leave that there because that does not take up that much space. What takes up the most space is the Docker desktop data. All right. So we need to actually go down here uh, to Docker and uh, quit Docker desktop first. And the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, shut down WSL. So it's WSL dash dash shutdown. And we're going to hit uh, enter. So that shut it down. And to make sure that we shut it down, let's go back here and see. Both subsystems are stopped on it. All right. So I've already created a. Uh, directory that I want to move it to on drive D and that directory is called docker dash data. So uh, before you do this, you need to create a subdirectory. You can create one called docker dash data or you can name it whatever you want really. Uh, so what I need to do is type in the command WSL dash dash export, which is going to take our current subsystem uh, and the subsystem we're taking is docker-desktop-data. Make sure you spell that exactly correctly. And then we're going to put it over here to a tar file, which is basically just an archive file or compressed file. Uh, and so I'm going to hit enter. And we'll take a minute here for it to uh, back it up and save it. Okay, now it's... Now it's saved it, so the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, type the command ws uh, dash dash unregister and then docker dash desktop dash data, which is subsystem again. This will unregister the subsystem with WSL. And that's fairly quick. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look again just, just to uh, see here that uh, docker desktop is left in the uh, Docker desktop dash data is is now uh, gone, uh, and so uh, the next step is to uh, import the file that we just saved to the new directory or to a new directory. So we're going to go WSL dash dash import, and once again Docker dash desktop dash data which is the subsystem or the name of the subsystem. And we're going to put that into docker-data.desktop, which will be a subdirectory that we'll copy it to. And we're going to take um, the next thing in the path is where we have the tar file, which is we put under actually the same directory. So now that we've imported it, uh, let's check to see We've got it all there, and it's there's they're stopped, but the Docker desktop data is 
right there running right now. So at this point, what you need to do is uh, restart Docker. Now, you may need to reboot before you restart it. Uh, I've done it a few times, and sometimes you need to reboot it. Uh, I think once or twice I didn't need to reboot it. But it could lock a file or something, so it's probably best to reboot it, then start up Docker desktop again. And uh, now you should be uh, running okay with your uh, system here. I have a container here with a web server in it, and it starts right up and everything. So it's working now, and if we go back here and take a look at at it, you can see that uh, both subsystems are uh, are running. One thing you might have noticed is that uh, for some reason it changed the, the default subsystem to docker-desktop.data. I don't think it makes a big deal deal of difference which one it's the default is set to, but if you want to switch it back to docker.desktop or another subsystem that you might have on there, all you have to do is type w sl dash s for subsystem in the name of the subsystem you want to be the default uh, subsystem and then when we look at it again docker desktop is the default subsystem I'm Dean and this has been Dino's Tech World and I'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.